Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So we're back at the farm again. And uh, if you saw the previous video, we are done with drywall. I've got everything primed. I've got the ceiling painted. And now it's time to start trimming all these doors and windows. So yesterday I stocked the house. I've got doors, um, almost all the doors. I need one set of bifolds for a closet upstairs, but uh, I've got all the standard doors in the house. I picked up a bunch of of uh, pine that I'm going to use to finish out all the jams. So these windows are, uh, they all have to be jammed out. And basically I'm just going to use that pine, extend these out and wrap kind of a frame all the way around the windows. And then that's what the casing will actually go up to. So there's all different depths. Everyone's going to be custom. There's a couple of these windows that are really really kind of wonky the way they're set in the wall. The left side and the right side are quite a bit different in, different in depth. Most of them are fairly close, but there's a couple that are gonna be challenging. And then I pointed out before, some of the doors are uh, gonna be interesting. This is this will be the easiest door in the whole house right here, just a standard two by four wall with half inch drywall. But most of the doors, all the doors upstairs actually are have multiple layers of drywall on them. So that's what I'm gonna be using the pine for um, for the windows as well as the doors to extend the jams so I can get everything sealed off properly. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but it'll be it'll be what it'll be. So I've got I started uh, I think I've got most of the tools in the house that I need. I need to set up some saw horses and get saw stations set up, and it'll be time to start working on some trim. All right, guys. So I've been working away getting these doors installed. And so you can see these big jam extensions that I had to add anywhere from, oh, I don't know, this is uh, close to three inches, I think. This one's like an inch and a half. I've got the closet doors in. Um, those are, those have big jam extensions too. This is three and a half inches. I think that's the, the widest one that I've had to do so far. So I just thought I'd show you, um, actually, I think this is my last door. Yeah, so I thought I would show you how I go about doing this. Um, First thing we got to do is figure out our wall thickness, which in the and there's all variations of this thing all over the place. So um, when I measured this before, I think pretty close to six and three quarters. So there, there it jumps way down to six and a half. There we are at. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, there's six and a half. So six and a half is pretty common. Um, but we go all the way up to six and three quarters over here on the top. So what I'm going to do, my goal is to have my finished door jam be about six and three quarters. So what I'm going to have to do, that's about four and a half. So I'm going to have to add about two and a quarter around there. Um, and obviously it's not going to be, you know, my reveal is not going to be consistent along this wall everywhere. So I'm just gonna have to deal with that when I install casing, but it is what it is. So I'll show you the process that I do to prep the actual extensions. All right, so what I've done, I showed you before, I've got all this material that, I've, that I'm using for uh, jamming out these doors and windows. But so this is, this is just one by three clear pine that I'm using on this one. Since I need a two and a quarter, one by three is actually two and a half. So I've just ripped, I've already done this, I ripped down the header and then the two legs for the door. And um, the way I'm actually, I've done this, I've done this many times before. And usually what I do is if it's really, um, if I just need to, to extend the jam a very small amount, I'll just use finish nails and just uh, nail that directly to the, the door frame or the door jam and then install it. That's quickest and easiest. A lot of times if it's a little bit wider, you know, inch, inch and a half, something like that. I've got some long skinny trim screws that I really like that work well. Pre-drill the extension jam and then um, and then actually screw it into the screw it into the, the door jam, the door frame. That works really well too. But in this case, these walls are so wide um, that there's no way to nail or screw these things to the uh, to the door. So I had to get a little bit creative in this case. So I broke out my Craig uh, pocket hole machine. And what I've done, and I've already, already drilled this one out. So 
you're not familiar with this, basically this uh, pocket hole just is a hole that goes in at an angle and then um, it drills everything perfectly for you and then you can slide a screw down in that hole and then I can screw this directly down to that door frame. So uh, this has been working out pretty well. Um, and I'll show you, I've never seen one of these things work before, I'll just show you real quick how, how the machine works. So I just take the piece that I cut, I take the, I pick a side, I mean, this has got stickers on it and marks, so this will be the, the back side, so this is the side that I'm going to drill the hole to. I find the side that I cut because it's, you know, your rip line is kind of inconsistent, so that's going to go up against the, up against the back, and then... So I've thrown, I'm just throwing five screws in each leg. So there you go, perfectly drilled pocket holes. And now I can just, I'll, I'll assemble this, uh, this extension jam frame and then I'll get it attached to the door. All right, so as you can see, I've got the jam extensions, I've got the, the door laid on the floor, just so it's easier to work on. And then I've got the jam extensions laid out. These are the pocket hole screws and um, if you happen to want to use this Craig system. So depending on the thickness of the wood that you use determines how long a screw you need. So the inch and a quarter are made for three quarter material. And this is what they look like. And then they also have a, a special driver bit. And it's just a square drive, but it's a long bit so you can get down in those holes easily. So um, pretty simple really. What I'm gonna do first is run a couple of screws, not, not using pocket holes here, I'm just running them in through the side, but I'm gonna run a couple of screws in through the side, in through the sides. <laughs> I'll set it on the floor, it'll be easier. Just to get things secured. And you want to be careful when you're using these. I've got the drill set to my to the clutch setting. You don't want to strip out the material that you're drilling into. And when I do this for, um, when, I'm, when I'm doing jam extensions that aren't so wide, I don't actually do this, the pre-installation. It's not, it's not worth it. I'll just actually attach them directly to the door frame, but only because this one is so, these are so wide, I decided I'd go ahead and, um, you know, just build the frame before I actually attach them. All right, so. All you do is get your extensions lined up. And again, I'm doing about an eighth inch reveal here because that works well for what I'm doing. <clears throat> and just carefully run these screws down. That's all there is to it.
All right, so we got it just roughly fit into the opening. And there you go. Now when we when I go to finish this, you can see here, I don't know how well you can see with the sun reflecting in here, but you can see that I just, uh, that's why I left just a little bit of an eighth inch reveal, just enough to, um, you know, to make it look natural. I'll throw a coat of primer on this, coat of paint, and it'll just pretty much look like the original door. This side over here as well. And if you have any kind of a little bit of a gap here, you know, it's real easy just to put a really thin Vita caulk in there and uh, close that off so it, so it paints up nice. So. All right, so I've got all these doors installed, all the jam extensions. Uh, I've got the jam for this this closet's gonna have a bifold door in it, uh, and there, those are a, those are a lot of fun. Different widths, inch and a half, inch and three quarters, like three inches. They're all over the place. They're a mess, but anyway, they're done. I'm glad to have that behind me. So now I've been working on jamming out these windows, and using the same basic technique that I use for the doors. Uh, I'm using pocket screws to build these, build the frames, and then I can just pop that frame into the opening. And I, I don't have them in here yet because I'm going to, um, I think I'm gonna prime them. I'll probably set them all up downstairs and I'll shoot them with some primer uh, before I install them. And I think that'll just make the whole painting process easier. So um, some of them are going in pretty good. Like that window's not bad. Uh, that window wasn't bad. That window down there was a real challenge. And because the window, I'll show you, I'll show you in here. So this one here that I'm working on is a little bit of a challenge too. And when my window installer installed these windows, he was just fighting to get these things in and to get everything to shut right. Um, and so... I've got some situations because of this framing is just so jacked up in this house. In this window, the majority of my build out here is um, is an inch and, or is it two and three quarters? Yeah, two and three quarters. Except up in this corner of the window, it's actually two and a half. So I, well, the way that I'm doing this, I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. So. Um, I'm going to build this whole thing with a two and three quarter jam extension and then I'm actually going to use a hand planer and I'll plan off the back of this corner up here to bring it in flush so my, so my trim will end up decent on the wall. I did that, this one down here, this one you won't be able to see it with the naked eye. You can see all the sawdust on it yet, but from, well, you might be able to see this actually, now that I point it out. So from this side, that bottom extension to that side is, what is that? I think that's almost half an inch difference. It's considerable. It's at least three eighths of an inch, if not a half. So it's narrower over here and then it grows as it goes this way. And I had to do the same thing on this, on the top. So the whole window is just basically sitting, set, um, installed a little bit, you know, canned in there. So that's what I did on that one. It worked pretty good and it's gonna work good on this other one too. So I'll show you how I'm doing this. So I've already got my pieces cut and have everything all dry fit, and then I'm pretty careful about making sure that I label everything because it's really easy to get yourself confused uh, when you're putting this stuff together. So I'm gonna run it through the, through the uh, pocket hole machine, throw some pocket screws in it, I'll build the frame, and then we'll plane it down so it fits good.
All right, now I'm gonna do a test fit with the frame just to make sure that I've got good measurements on what I need to trim off. So let's see how well you, I can show this to you. So you can see that down here on that bottom leg, it lines up pretty nice and flush with the wall. Down here it's good. This side's pretty good, but then as you come up the wall, you can see how it grows and it extends way proud on the top there. And it does a little bit on this side too. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this side down too. So um, I've already made some marks approximately what I want my, how much I'm going to take off, and I think I'm going to come down to maybe about that area. And then this side over here, I've already marked, so I've got some ref reference lines, so we'll take it downstairs and take the planer to it. So that's how much I've got to shave off that top. And then I've got marks on that side. And this side is going to go all the way down to the bottom. So that one's going to take a little bit of time. So I think maybe I'll, I'll start with this long list one first. All right, we'll see how I did, if I've got to trim anymore or if that's enough. So this side over here is really good. The top is good. This, there's a little corner. Yeah, there's a little bit here that I need to take off. I'll just mark. So anyway, I'll knock that little edge off of there and that'd be a perfect fit. Kind of a lot of work to make these things fit good, but it's worth it because trimming it out will be way easier and it'll just look, it'll look good and look professionally done when it's when it's finished all right guys so update I have all my windows done except for one got all the downstairs knocked out and I've got one more upstairs but unfortunately with all this pile of material here I don't know have what I need you can see this is all this over here is all just cut offs this is a bunch of one by twos that I thought was gonna work for some of these windows 
Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit too narrow. And I have one piece of one by three left, and this actually would finish that window. But if you, I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but that thing is, is badly crooked. So that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to hold off on that, but <clears throat> I've got a complete disaster area here. Tools everywhere and sawdust everywhere. So I'm gonna do a big cleanup here. And next step is, I don't wanna go deal with this wood right now. So I think next step for today, I'm gonna leave this one window out of the, out of the lineup and I'm gonna work on getting some primer on all this trim. Um, so then I can go ahead and get it permanently installed. So let's do some cleaning up and then let's break out the primer. All right, so I've been working away the last couple days here, so I thought I better shoot a video update. I've got all my, it's so hard with the sun, so you guys can see, but I've got all my jam extensions installed. I can't remember my last update. Um, I don't think I had those up yet, but I ended up priming all my, uh, all the raw pine. Jam extensions are installed. I was planning to spray them. I've got this little Graco uh, handheld airless, which is really a pretty slick gun, but unfortunately it would not work. First I thought it was just because my primer, I'm using this Kills Premium, which is super thick. Um, I thought maybe it was because the primer was so thick, but I actually thinned it out pretty good and it still wouldn't work. And I think what happened, I'm always real careful uh, about keeping these things from freezing, but I had left it out in my truck one day for about half a day, and it was about zero degrees that day, and I have a feeling that I froze that thing and ruined it. So anyway, that didn't work out. So I just brushed them, rolled them and brushed them, so they're done. So now I've been working on um, trimming out the windows, and I actually have, I'll show you. Coming upstairs. I have all the upstairs windows trimmed out. Turn out really nice, I think. So these are all done up here. I've got to do the doors yet, but I'm just concentrating on the windows for right now. So back downstairs, you can see I've got all the, all the casing framed out basically and built for, for each window all except for this last one over here. I thought I'd show you how I'm doing this. So the way I'm doing these, I'm using CA glue, which is essentially just super glue, and an activator. And when I've trimmed out windows always in the past, I always, I always trim everything out basically stick by stick. And um, it's time consuming and it's kind of hard to get everything lined up correctly and it's hard to get your joints nice. And I've been seeing people talk about using this glue up technique and I thought I'd give it a try and I have to say that I am, I love this process, I'm thoroughly impressed. It's way more efficient for installing casing and it gives really nice, I mean it gives really nice miters, everything's nice and tight. And then for installation, uh, I'll show you how I install it, but installation is super fast too. So I really love this process and I'll just kind of show you how this, how this stuff works. So this activator, I mean, obviously it's, again, this is CA glue, but this is, this is a medium. Stick, for, stick fast is the brand, probably doesn't really matter what you use. I don't know what this activator is, um, but it, it makes this stuff stick pretty much immediately. So you gotta have everything lined up, you gotta be, um, you know, ready to move when you do this, but just basically spray the applicator or the activator on one side Apply some glue to the other piece. Line up your corners and then hold it together. And I just give it about 15 seconds or so. Um, probably don't even need, to, need that long, but you do that and you get pretty much instant activation of these corners. And now, I'll move over to this side, so you can see just as fast. You can go around the go around the horn here.
And there you go. Come around, do this side over here, and this one will be ready to go up on the window. There you go, just like that. I'll let it sit for a few seconds, but you know, a minute or so, and this thing is ready to handle. So then, to make uh, the installation process as quick as possible, basically, I've just I've got a quarter inch reveal on each side here. So I'll just take a take a square, mark off each corner. And I'll do the top, and then when I go to set the set that casing frame up there, I just I can eyeball it on those marks for my quarter inch reveal, tack it up, and we're off to the races. Check out that fancy new brad nailer. My other one, <clears throat> my old boss stitch, which I've had for years, I've put thousands and thousands of brads through it, uh, quit working on me when I was wrapping up the other day. So I'm gonna tear it apart and I think I can probably figure out how to fix it, but I didn't have time to mess, mess around waiting for parts, so I had to get one. So this was on sale actually this weekend and I picked it up and I love this thing. It's, um, it's got a new updated tip and it's really quiet. I like that.
All right, so here's where we're at. I've got all my doors and windows cased out. That's done. Um, with the exception, so every place where there's carpet, I have the doors cased out. Bathrooms, and then actually, I don't have any of them done downstairs because that's all going to be hard surface flooring. And <clears throat> it's a lot easier to to uh, do your, your door trim after the flooring is done. So I went ahead and I've started on all the base. As you can see, I've got the base done in this bedroom. It's coming out good. This is just kind of a kind of a tedious process. It just takes a while to go around and knock all the base in, but um, but good progress. So hopefully, um, and actually same thing downstairs. So I won't do the base anywhere where I'm gonna do hard surface floor. So that's gonna be the entire first floor. So really I'll just be doing base right now for the upstairs where all the bedrooms and the um, hallway are. So I'll get that knocked out today. And then um, next step, I think I'm actually going to build a linen closet for that bathroom downstairs. Um, I'll show you what they've got there is, is a joke and it's not usable. So I'm gonna tear out what's there and I'm gonna build a linen closet um, out of plywood. So that's coming up and then it's gonna be time to get prepped for painting. So that's coming real fast. Painting um, the doors and all the trim. I'm gonna be doing that first and then I'll transition to painting the walls. So uh, that's all coming up in the next video. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you then.